What's going on, you Chinese bean dips? Today we are talking about the Global Pro League Week 2. The teams are FaZe, Fnatic, Rise, and EG. And this is probably by far the hardest week. The only argument you could make would be Week 3, in my personal opinion. Just because they have two of the top like three strongest European teams, uh, E United and LG. But anyways, let's get this started. It's going to be a quick, short video. I'm trying to get this out before the match actually starts, before the matches actually start. So right now, as of this recording, it is 2.47 p.m. Uh, Central, so 3.47 Eastern. Uh, the matches actually start at 4. Well, the stream starts at 4. I'm not sure when the matches actually start. It says 4 p.m. Eastern, so we will see. We will see. MLG, you know, they've been on schedule this year, but the previous years, Call of Duty, Esports, Nothing's ever been on schedule. So, anyways, first match is Fnatic versus FaZe. Um, so they're sort of putting they're sort of putting one of the lesser important matches first of the day. Uh, this is Fnatic versus FaZe, in my opinion. I I think that Fnatic's gonna have a really tough time in this pool, especially uh, with three American teams. It's the only pool of three U.S. North American, teams. and you know that really that really sucks for Fnatic. In my in my opinion, Fnatic is going to have to pull some shit out of their ass to win this pool or to make it through this pool. You know, it's nothing against them. If you put any European team in this pool, um, I honestly still believe that two North American teams are going to come out. And that's just because of experience, because of how many matches are going to be played. Uh, this, this whole entire pool, every single match is going to matter, and every single match is going to be like a high-stress situation. And... Uh, I really think that the, the experience of the North American teams, and I know Fnatic, uh, they've probably been playing a while, but they've just, you know, their players have just entered the scene as of late. So, well, Black Ops 3 as of late. No matter what, I think that two North American teams are going to be coming out of this pool, and I think one of them is definitely going to be FaZe. And FaZe is basically, I think they're too good to not come out, and and, and they're too consistent. I'm going to be using that word consistent a lot here just because of the fact that, you know, we got Rise and EG. And both of these teams, you know, they're very inconsistent. I think that Rise is potentially like, uh, you know, if they're playing really well, they're easily a top four team. But you guys have seen, uh, you know, recent tournaments where they haven't, they haven't performed that well. I mean, shit, they won the first event. They won the OSA They won the OSA event. So Rise, I think, is going to be like the X factor in this tournament. I think that if they play well, then EG has, they don't have a chance. But if Rise does not play well, then I think that EG will make it through. So it's basically, this whole thing is all determined or determined uh, solely on Rise, Rise Nation's potential and, and, you know, how they play this weekend. As for EG, though, something that I want to mention, though, and this is also another, you know, X factor, but um, EG is probably the best snaking team I've ever seen. Havoc and Nagafin are the most annoying players to play against. Snaking guys is basically when you can see over a wall without showing your body. Um, it's actually getting patched, fixed here soon. So hopefully S &D, IW S&D will be good and, you know, tournaments will be playable now. But uh, people have been using a lot of it, a lot of it in respawn and a lot of teams have agreed to not use it. I think this entire pool is actually agreeing to not use it except for EG. While it may seem scummy, it's it's a smart play by EG. So uh, just because of Naga and, and and Havoc, you know, they're they're so fucking good with it. They're so annoying with it. And the most annoying thing isn't necessarily you know killing the guy, but it's the time in which they stall for their teammates to push up and be able to like like trade that kill. So basically. If I'm like Nagafin or something, and I see two guys in front of me, my, my nearest teammate is so far away. So so virtually it's a 1v2. Say I'm Naga, I kill the first guy, I have zero health, like zero bars of health. And basically I'm going to just snake a head glitch and then make it so this other guy, his other teammate's like afraid to push me or if he, if he goes to push me, he's going to like take his time and, you know, play it smart. When he sees the guy like snaking, like... He, so technically you can see snaking, but it's really hard to actually hit the guy. So, anyways, Naga kills first guy. It takes about, I don't know, three seconds to kill him, to kill Nagafin. But that three seconds just stalled his teammate enough time for his teammate to come up behind him 
and trade that kill right there. So it, it turns snaking turns non tradable situations into tradable situations uh, just because of like delay in time. So basically, I think that if EG can maximize and uh, utilize this, you know, this move, this this movement on basically every single fucking map in the game, I think that EG is going to stand a huge chance to actually beat Rise Nation for that number two spot. No matter what, though, I would say that these three teams, the three North American teams, FaZe, EG, Rise, they have to beat Fnatic. If they, if they don't beat Fnatic, then it's going to be a shit show. Like, this, this pool is going to be basically a sausage fest, for lack of a better word. Um, I think that, cause, because if they don't, then say EG beats Rise, but then they lose to Fnatic in the next match, then it almost negates the most important win versus Rise. So basically, every single team has to beat Fnatic. I honestly believe that, let's see, FaZe plays at the end of the day today. I think that FaZe is going 2-0 today. I would say Fnatic 0-2. And then I would say EG 1-1, Rise 1-1. So first match. Give it to FaZe. Second match, give it to Rise. Third match, give it to EG. Fourth match, give it to FaZe. So, um, the the standing right there would be FaZe 2-0. Rise and EG, both 1-1. One one. Uh, Rise would lead because of the tiebreaker. Actually, well, it goes to my map count. Anyways, and then Fnatic 0-2 oh for the first day. I'm not going to be doing predictions on other days. But I would give the overall pool. I don't know how the records are going to go. I'm not even going to guess that. It's just, you know, too many matches for anyone to predict that but i'm gonna thoroughly say phase in first i would say rise second eg third fanatic fourth that's my final prediction guys hopefully you guys enjoy this video i'm gonna let this gameplay finish out uh thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys later be sure to watch the mwr videos that are coming out probably sweated my balls off more than I ever had before, and it was only for a one dollar wager in MWR. So, anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. I'm out. I can't. Just throw it out. Throw it out. Yellow. Coming throw it out. Yellow. Coming. Throw it out. Yellow. Enemy Trinity rocket in use. So one. one. Uh, oh, it hit me in the head. Never mind. One top construction. One more orange. Jerry one more orange. Buy the ball. Buy the ball. Buy the ball. Uh, oh, okay. Right. Jerry's on construction. He's still wood. He's still wood. Okay. Here, 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 here. I'm looking for him. Wait, I got someone him. pension. There He's going one absolute right here. I spawned here. On our point, absolute. On our point, absolute. I'm on ball. I got ball. Nice. I got ball, I'm going, I'm going. I have, I have a, Sam, I have a Sam. here. Oh, I got shot from ball spawn, Nick. He's head glitching it. I'm out, I'm out. I'm going orange, I'm OD and orange. Run. Seth, bait, bait, oh. Seth. <laughs> <laughs> nice, good shit, good shit. I got two. Good shit, Seth, perfect. Nice, sir. Dude, Matt, he literally went top glass and did it, and oh, one's in L, and he didn't even shoot at me, right. like he was doing it purposely. <laughs> He's in L, statue. Top cat, top their base. Yeah, we need help, we need help. I'm coming back. Hold cat, hold cat. Two ball, two ball, two cat, two ball, two cat, guys. Oh coming. shit, they know I'm here. Losing the car. Slacked, one shot on ball. Dude, they just one top glass. Right side block, right side block, far right block, ball right shot. block. Ball went above you, ball went above you. That's fine, right, that's fine. Right. Right. Next one shot here. Next there. Oh, yeah, there's two, one more, one more. I'm, ra I'm wrapping. I'm going new, I'm going I'm making sure we get control. Cat. Orange sharp, orange sharp. Oxen. One guy, cat, statue, statue. Orange sharp and statue, orange sharp, Sam. One white hall? Nice. Yeah, I got, I got orange. I'm playing. Let's get saints. Let's get saints. Let's get saints. Oh, top. he's top. No, he's right on me. Oh. Flash on them. Nice, he's dead. They just wasted the bomb as well. Nice, too. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, my God. Another one on point. I have new. I have new. I have new. Right. One's on the yellow cat. truck. I think I going white hall. Statue, maybe? No, no, statue, no. statue. What's the point? Two on point. Yeah, I don't know how I got that. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here, man. Camp. Camp. And that's camo. Nick is far as fuck up camo. All right. Hold on. Set up. Two orange, two orange. I'm seeing one's out of orange. Left corner, left corner. Uh, he's, he's in ball spot. He's in ball spot. Right. Yeah, ball spot. I think it's not in. Oh no, he is. He is. He is. Left corner. You're in front of me. Top glass. Top glass. Dead. Ball spot. Ball spot. Ball spot. I didn't hit, hit him. him. I didn't hit him. Didn't hit him. That's orange, two orange. dead. Orange, 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 orange. Nice. Ball spot. Snake, 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 snake. Oh, here. What the hell? I'm about to run out of ammo trying to kill this guy. More orange. Two on ball spot. One's on boss one already. Nice, good shot. One on boss one. Yeah, I'm dead. I got naded. He's going out. He's. I watch nice. orange. Good job. Sir ball, sir ball. Good fucking job. On boss one, on boss one. Nicky's bringing out wood right away. Also, I jumped in front of you. Oh shit. Wait, top wood ball. I'm coming back. Might go for the one, Damon. Orange, one more orange. Octane. Yeah, I got sir. Octane dead. Next on our point, Damon. Next under. Next under our point. I'll play it, play it. He got me. 
I played it. I played it. We got cat. We got top glass. Shit on Jerry. Oh, on ball. On ball and orange. Shit on Octane. Last guy me. Last guy spawned. Oh, never mind. He's on me, Whitehall. He went. He was high wall running above you guys. Alright, I'm going orange for you. Nice. Another one high wall running. Find your. Oh. Come window now? No, I know. Oh, good try, good shot. Nah, we are kinda. Okay. We had no angles right there. Good job, guys. Good shit. Bro, Seth, when I was yelling at you to just bait, I literally was OD and I saw two guys jumping. Sun behind them and everything. Scariest side I ever saw. Wait, hold on, let me... Look at this, look at this, ready? <clears throat> Fuck. Why do you have gold armor, you loser? Fucking samurai. <laughs> He's got fucking gold armors on. Wow.